it's something that is probably a permanent effect. Let's see. So we're going to just do a big giant pull then. I mean, this is going to, oh my gosh, this one, this, whew. if we don't have to worry about, oh, and look at, look at what map it is. This might be our 150 clear, no matter what. Cause if we can delete the damage auras, like why? Let's see. Okay. Here's damage guys. Let's see. I'm going to grab more than that though. Cause like we might as well go big. If we're going big with this, we're going big. Cause this is something. Let's see if the, when both circles pop, if the damage aura goes away and it went away. Oh my God, dude. The game, that is game. That is crazy. Oh my God. Dude. It 100%, 100% deletes the damage aura off. So if you use soil power and planes power together, for whatever reason, it literally deletes the damage resist auras. Here comes our 150, boys. Oh my God, as long as we get a good boss. That's crazy. Holy dude. You know what's wild is somebody in my YouTube comments, he didn't say anything about it getting rid of the damage orders. He just said he felt like he was doing more damage with soil power over apprehension. So I put it on. Lo and behold, we find we discover that it dude, it literally deletes the damage resist aura. Let's go find another damage resist pack. No wonder why he's doing so much more damage, bro. I mean, I guess I don't know that he was using planes power too, but it looks like it's something to do. Here's one. It's something to do with planes power and uh, soil soil power or whatever uh, together. Like, look at that. It deletes it. When both circles are on top of each other, it deletes the damage resistance aura off of the mobs. That is actually crazy. Oh my gosh. You know what was wild? That that should be two different videos, but honestly, we're probably, if we get a good boss here, this is going to be our 150 clear. <laughs> so it's going to be like two and one. Oh no. Oh no. It's going to be a two, two for one boys. Anybody that watches my world first 150 clear is going to be like, oh, I bugged it. <laughs> Yo, no way. What a discovery that is, huh? Look at that. Gone. Low circles up. Damage resist aura. Gone. Oh my gosh, what a, uh, what a discovery there. All right, why am I not just grabbing tons of mobs? I'm like sitting here like in awe. Well, really we should just be sending it. You know what I'm saying? Grabbing every mob possible. Both circles up. GG. Well, you're going to see some insane quill timers now. Oh my gosh, bro. Maybe, wait, maybe the, maybe quill players won't be able to do it. Never mind, because it's centipede skills. Actually, low key, I don't think quill boys can do this. I mean, they might be able to adapt the tech to it, but yeah, this is crazy. I mean, look at, the, look at this, dude. Damage resist auras literally don't matter anymore. That is insane. I wonder it might actually work then because if they are using scourge as a centipede skill right so realistically they could get the double circle and cast scourge and it should actually work they'll probably be able to to utilize it i mean this is crazy to get rid of damage or i mean maybe it doesn't matter for quill for me it's making a big difference like here look look look, look. we got another damage resist just grab all these guys 
once we get in our double circle look at that gone aura is gone wow dude what in the world bro good thing we tried it out huh good things print good thing pringles pointed it out dude, i honestly i didn't even see it i i'm not even kidding i didn't even notice it until pringle said something That's good. No, I didn't notice it until you said something, bro. I mean, maybe eventually I would have caught on to that, but no, I, I didn't notice it at all until you said something. That is insane. Funny thing is, like I said, this this is probably going to be my 150 clear video. But I'm also going to have to make a separate video on the bug itself. So I'll probably like go back in and like explain it all. I mean, anybody who watches the 150, if this is, like I said, depending on the boss, we'll see. Uh, yeah, interesting. Crazy. Running down the street naked. <laughs> Stop, dude. This is. I'm just gonna go to the next level, I think. Cause like I said, it doesn't really matter now. I mean, this is gonna be world first. Granted, this is an unforeseen. I mean, that bug is kind of crazy. Let's be real. Being able to completely negate damage resist aura is that's wild. I mean, honestly, the quill tech players are probably going to be able to benefit from this. Even not only are we going to potentially do a world first touch of death 150 clear, but we also discovered a new bug somehow, some way that's probably going to break Spiritborn even more than it already is, man. Uh, yeah. That's crazy. I mean, that's just literally using aspects. So that's not like anything intentional or anything. It's literally, that's like, that's crazy. That's just pure chance. I don't know why it's doing that, but. I can't believe nobody's figured it out. I mean, I guess there's not many people playing Centipede, so why would they try it? Like I said, when I read the aspect, bro, I was like, ah, why, dude, that thing sounds doo-doo. And it actually ends up being probably one of the strongest aspects you can use, at least for me. Dude, that's crazy. Actually crazy. We'll see what the boss is. Because honestly, if it's a bad boss, we're not going to get the clear anyway, right? But if it's a if it's a juicy one, we should definitely have it right here. World first. Funny thing is, I already did, before switching to soil, I've, I've pushed the boss with three and a half minutes left boss was 
unfortunately not one that's killable and then we we got to scur scourge scourge whatever his name is scourge lord and uh we missed that kill by like literally 20 seconds but now after putting on this crazy freaking combo of the double circle tech uh yeah there it goes bye bye wow that's insane dude once you get double circles it just the aura is gone i wonder why like why that causes that to delete the res the damage resistor though you know what i mean because you can literally watch when if only one circles up the aura stays on but as soon as both circles are up the aura goes away the damage resistor aura Is it gonna be is it gonna be our 150? Uh yeah, right? Maybe. We need a juicy, juicy, juicy proc though. GG. Just like that, boys. World first. <laughs> it kind of feels dirty. It kind of feels dirty, though. I ain't gonna lie. But there it is. Uh, I mean, that was unintentional. That was seriously, like... Uh, again, it feels a little dirty, but considering how insane Quill is, I don't feel that bad. Um, and like I said, that's not anything intentional. That's not like a... That's literally... we just. Not only did we just get probably world first touch of death 150 clear... Granted, we were super close even before what we just discovered, but what we just discovered made it, I mean, n dude, yeah, I could probably clear 150s almost every single time. I, I wouldn't doubt. Actually, I'm, I'm sure I could now. Um, So we were beating our heads, beating our heads, beating our heads against the wall and uh, just hoping for RNG, right? Because like I said, we've already made it before the change, which I'll explain in a second. I was already on the ver like it was just a matter of time right i my best push was three and a half minutes left with the boss way more than i need the boss doesn't take long to kill at all um thank you for the gift i'm gonna i'm gonna that's for you mute man. it for a second though so that i can explain this but uh thank you thank you thank you um but yeah so three and a half minutes i pushed with uh i can't remember what boss it was but it was one that you can't like it doesn't spawn ads whatever so unlucky um so like I said, just a matter of time. We pushed again. We got another one with Scourge Lord, and I, we missed the time. Like literally, I think I had like 30 seconds to kill him, and I needed like 45, right? And we did kill him, but we just didn't time it, right? So I already cleared a 150, just missed it by, you know, 15, 20 seconds. Um, and then we we were messing around with uh, aspects, and actually, I will shout out. I don't know who the name was, but somebody in one of my recent YouTube videos said, "Hey." Uh, why don't you should try soil power instead of apprehension because I feel like I'm doing more damage. I was like, all right, you know, because when you read it, I mean, when you read that thing, it's like it's casting a centipede skill and a mystic circle empowers them, right? So I was like, oh, yeah, no, that's, I mean, that sounds not good, but hey, why not? Let's give it a shot. Because again, and this is textbook example of, dude, you just don't know. <laughs> you don't know what stuff's going to do in the game. I swear, everything you read it, you do it like, I don't know. It's bizarre. But so I and that so I don't even know how to explain it all because a like I said I, I put it on just to test it. Somebody in the comments said, "Hey, test it out." I feel like I'm doing more damage. They didn't say anything about re like getting rid of damage reduction auras. Um, they just said like they felt they were doing more damage. So I was like, "Yeah, why not?" You know, like I said, we'll try it. Um, and then we were doing pushes and just messing around, and it did feel pretty good. I was like, "What the heck?" But I was still playing normal. Like I was trying to skip. The damage resist guys or like fear them off and like you know have some strategy involved how i'd get the timer whatever um but then pringles in my chat point out he's like hey dude i think that i think that you're removing the damage auras off of the damage resist guys and 
I was like, no, what? You know, I, what? So we pulled the next pack, and sure enough, for whatever reason, when soil power and planes power combine, it it literally deletes the damage resist aura. So I mean, you just saw that that 150 was. I mean, that was a breeze, and I wasn't even like I was kind of caught off guard, like in awe, even like not even super like stress pushing, you know, whatever. Um, just kind of like. I mean, that, that was really easy. That was super casual. Granted, obviously, I don't have to worry about damage resist or guys. So so not only did we just do the 150 clear second time, like I said, I did clear it, missed it by like 15 seconds before this. I mean, obviously, that made it significantly easier. Uh, no question. Um, but that was a completely unintentional, you know, discovery, I guess. Uh, but yeah, my guess is I haven't seen anybody else talk about that. And uh it probably will be able to be used by Quill, maybe. But then again, Quill has banner swords, but I, I don't know. I guess I'm, my guess is actually do Quill do you Quill players use apprehension? My guess is a lot of people are going to be switching out apprehension for soil power if they see this this video, because I mean even for Quill, that's right. That's got to help. I would imagine um, having no damage resistant aura anywhere. I mean that's insane. Um, I mean it made my time it, again it just made it was night and day for me at least um but yeah wow insane 150 clear granted <laughs> like i said it feels a little dirty but this this season in general just feels super dirty don't it i i just anything spearborn is crazy um but yeah wow okay let's go over the gear real quick since we we're talking about it um so again cap of soil the soil power that's Everything I just talked about, I, tra I traded apprehension for that. And for whatever reason, combining the soil power with the planes power, the double circles, it creates some synergy to remove damage ores. I don't know. Insane. Uh, sh obviously, Shroud, no brainer there. The Felsu Slayer for the Shatter aspect. Interdiction, of course. Duelist, not much has changed here, right? The the Rod of Keck W. Um, I have to use Insatiable for my you know touch of death to work. Planes power, again, of course. Everybody knows about the planes power tech, but now when you add in the soil power tech with it, the double circle tech, we'll call it. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Um, and then redirected for no brainer. So a lot of my gear is the same, except for I have better masterworks. You can see I got a I got a triple uh, max resolve stacks, triple max resolve and triple max resolve. Last time I pushed, um, I did not have that. And it, uh, it clearly made a big difference. That's why I'm getting 47. You have the 13 times 3, 39 plus 8, 47 total. No bugs, glitches there in the armor itself. I will say, though, obviously, like I said, that soil power thing that we just literally just. I mean, we just figured it out and first attempt after seeing it, it was at 150 that easy. Um, yeah, insane, insane, insane. Uh, I use pot Q, which most people do. And then for the uh, the other one, I use Tam Zal. Some people use Zolzal. I like Tam Zal better personally. Um, and then I have two resist gems and one armor to get my armor cap. And, uh, of course, the barrier gen because it's super important to have uh, at least 123 barrier bonus. You want to be as close to that as possible. You don't want to go too far over to min-max. But, yeah, 123 is is the spot to be. Um, my resists aren't too crazy, but it doesn't matter. You have so much life and uh, fortify and barrier that it really does not matter. Too much you just don't want to be like super low you can see like I'm, you know i'm 39 is my lowest granted i am using a fire resist and a shadow resist um uh incense to do that but yeah i i feel essentially unkillable um and then i i for my build lucky hit chance actually does seem to help um for whatever reason i, I don't know if it helps my prox more or what i really can't figure it out but it does i, I noticed that my damage feels more consistent you know having at least some lucky hit um which i get mostly from my my paragon and uh yeah so gear aspects spirit hall of course is double jaguar mercenaries you know the tried and true shield charge which honestly i don't even like uh because he always messes my you know i do i try to get my positioning my grouping then he comes through with his his shield charge and knocks everything off into narnia <laughs> Uh, but the 15% more armor helps me get the cap. And uh, the 15 times when they're taunted is nice as well. And then the attack speed, of course. I use it with the Hunter because that's usually when I'm going to burst something uh, for Bloodthirst. And then um, 
Yeah. And then Paragon. So this I was messing around with too, and I'm still not entirely certain. Ritual, man, it feels good. But for whatever reason, when I switch out Ritual with um, Fitness... I get that's like the 225,000. And I think actually my biggest one now is 253,000 trillion. The biggest hit I've seen. Um, for some reason, I only see those super, super, super high numbers like that with um, with fitness over ritual. But I, I feel like ritual is more consistent and I still see like 100 plus thousand, but I haven't seen it. And maybe that's just pure. I don't know. Maybe that's pure chance, but I have yet to see a 200 plus thousand trillion hit with ritual. But I've seen it multiple times. Um, not all the time. Like I said, that's my that's my high high. Like it's it's you know not every single pull by any means. Um not even close, right? Maybe like once a run, I get some something crazy like that. Like two hundred plus thousand. I do see, like I said, I see it tens of thousands, even a hundred thousand fairly. I wouldn't say like every pull, but multiple times a run, I would say. But yeah, so so my point is ritual and fitness, at least for my build, man, I can't decide which one I like better. Uh, obviously, we just did it with ritual, but being able to basically not have to worry about the damage resistant guys is crazy. Um, like I said, I could probably do a 150 every. Uh, uh, I won't be surprised if I could do a 150 every run using the the double circle tech, um, just because. Like, I mean, you could just grab every mob and and shoot them all down right especially with the shatter aspect that's crazy it's crazy crazy discovery uh bane the reason i use that is because mostly the poison damage to uh get the full value of convergence um and honestly maybe the 15 percent chance to deal the double amount damage maybe that's where i'm seeing the 200 times or the 200 thousand trillion whatever uh i don't know but of course i get revealing right so i have my uh, currently i have i i have Ritual there for the 64, just to min max a little bit better. Uh, 69 in Bane. I can get a little bit more, but it, it requires a ton of points to get over to that last known. So I'm holding off on that. Uh, and the revealing one. V Viscous Shield, everybody knows that thing is insane. Essentially has infinite scaling with your HP. So even if you're not playing Banished Swords like me, it still is super valuable. Uh, one of the strongest, probably the strongest legendary node. <clears throat> I put Colossal here. Just again, it's just easy, simple. Go right through it. Um, and then spirit maxed out, of course, for that, the crit damage, honestly, no, no. Yeah. Cause the, the aspect or the implicit of that is better than fitness. I was going to say, hmm, I might try I might try fitness instead of that, but no, nah. the uh, 15 times you get from it is probably better. Uh, conversions I already talked about. And then hubris, I get that for the extra six maximum resource on the top end for the Keck W staff, obviously. And that's in the sapping area skill tree. Uh, we got withering just to get down over here. I do get all of balanced exertion and then I, I am getting the measured vortex. And a lot of that is because for me, I feel like I fear things so fast that it's, uh, you know, it's hard to control everything and keep it grouped the way I want to. So I get this so that every time I vortex, it essentially holds everything right where I want it, uh, for the most part. Apex maxed out, unrestrained power maxed out, course measured ra ravager, um, perseverance, no brainer there. I have four of five in armored height at the moment, and that's just to be able to to grab this. Uh, and like I said, I do think the trade off is worth because as long as I got big enough pulls, I, I have the hundred percent uptime anyway. And uh, and then you get the damage reduction one there. Course you have scourge, scourge, whatever. The, the life leech, resilience, uh, vehemence, vehemence. I, I, I'm probably not saying that right. Uh, for me, it works because of touch of death. Touch of death is a potency skill, so it gives me you know 40 times. Of course, I got touch of death maxed out with uh, poised in order to turn it into a core skill, so that it gets the tech W staff bonuses. Right, maxed ravenous out with oppressive. For the extra damage potent with the furnace of course and then i get you know max all these three out prodigy of course and hunter of course so skill tree paragon mercenary spirit hall character aspects i mean that should be everything right and like i said the bonus thing is anybody watching this video is going to get the extra tech 
the double circle tech that I don't, I have not heard anybody else talk about that. That's probably, some, we might have just been the first people to actually discover that it's actually doing that. So shout out A to the person in the YouTube comments to say to check it out. Cause again, he didn't say anything about it, the damage or stuff. He just said he felt like he was doing more damage. So I was like, you know what? Why not? You never know. Um, but then Pringles in my chat, he's the one that pointed out, he's like, Hey, I think that's removing the, the damage order, dude. And, uh, sure enough. So shout out to those two, because they are the ones that kind of the whole reason I even put it on. And then, like I said, even notice, I'm sure eventually I would have maybe noticed it if I would have stuck with it. But, uh, yeah, I had no idea until, until Pringles literally is like, Hey dude, uh, you might want to check it, look into that. Uh, so yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy. And, uh, I think that's it, right? Uh, yeah so good luck with it uh ggs like i said it, it kind of this this 150 feels a little dirty but the state of spirit born and especially cool and stuff i don't feel that bad but it, it does it, it's still a little dirty in terms of we made that discovery and uh just absolutely slammed it without any effort really um that's crazy but yeah ggs good luck with it and uh, if you want to try it out for yourselves and, and like I said, the double circle tech thing, that's going to be, I'm assuming any spirit born is going to be able, it's just another busted bugged out thing. That's going to make spirit born even that much crazier more than likely. So, but yeah, much love. Thanks for watching. Make sure if you're watching on YouTube, come check out the stream when I'm live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Mercatus all week. Um, I'm on all the time, usually evenings, nights. So, but yeah, much love y'all. Good luck. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.